David Watts has written a book on hair analysis and how minerals may play a role in behavioral problems and overall health. Okay, I see hair. What do you see? What are you looking for when you take a strand of hair and an analyze it? What we're looking for are the, are the contents of the, particularly the uh, minerals, the trace minerals, uh, macro minerals, and uh, most notably for children with uh, hyperactive disorders, mm -hmm. any toxic metals that may be present, such as lead, cadmium, aluminum, and so forth. Are there any other things that you look for in hair that you think have an active link to that kind of hyperactive? Oh, yes. Uh, for example, calcium and magnesium are two very important minerals. Uh, they act upon the nervous system in various ways and when they're very low or deficient it uh, relates to a, a accelerated or a hyper uh, effect of the nervous system which mm -hmm. can be related to uh, hyperactivity. If you make that kind of diagnosis what then can parents do to try to reverse the trend? Well the, uh, uh, the parents can do a great deal in supplementing their child with the proper nutrients. Uh, brought, you know many people are taking supplements and uh, if they're given the right ones it can impact that as well as modifying their diet. We, we mentioned at the outset that we're not just talking about hyperactive children in this case, we're also talking about other health problems that you can also see by mm -hmm. doing a hair analysis. What other things are you looking at? Well, in children in particular, many times we see that they have severe imbalances that may be present you know, at birth or inherited from the parent. And um, some of these deficiencies can lead to some of the early childhood disorders, such as uh, recurring ear infections, uh, allergies, and that type of thing. Do you believe it's the answer to a lot of problems that are normally uh, medicated? I think it is. I think uh, it gives us a, uh, a tool whereby we can see uh, a problem that can be addressed. Otherwise, uh, many of these problems are, are just addressed by uh, symptomatology and not really getting to the root of it. Mm -hmm. We're just talking about that's just the way that's just the way these kids are right, uh, right. in some cases. Well, if you are interested in hearing more from Dr. Watts, he'll be speaking tonight at the Hold Education Center that begins at 7 o'clock. Um, I know admission is $5, and these are among the things you'll be talking about tonight. Yes, just a few of the things we'll be talking about tonight. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Denise?